Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad that you found us here on YouTube and have joined our tribe of survivors post-narcissists. Uh, today I want to talk about a really important subject that I haven't touched on yet, and that is no contact. It's, um, it's a really popular term when you're dealing with all relationships. Um, even if you, you know, talk to, you know, dating counselors and experts, um, they talk about no contact when you're trying to get your ex back even, or when you're trying to heal a relationship. But when you're dealing with a narcissist, the no contact rule um, has a completely different meaning um, because our, our no contact is to stop an abuse that is being done to us. And that's why we have to go no contact. Um, and so when, you're, when your relationship ends, you know, you, you make the decision that, that, that that's it. It's over, right? And you decide to go no contact. Now, your narc will most likely go along with this for about a month. And after, um, after about that much time, you know, they're going to go to secondary supply or get a new main supply. But after about a month or so, they're going to try and hoover you, right? And that's the way, um, like the balance of no contact works a lot of the time. Um, but, and, you know, some people, some people say that you can have a little bit of contact, you know, with them, whether you have children with them or not. I mean, and to me, that's just, that's just ridiculous. If anyone tells you that it's okay to have some contact with your narc, like, don't listen to them. <laughs> that's like saying, cause they're, they're an abuser and it's like if someone else was being like physically abused, would you would you tell them it's okay to have a little bit of contact with your abuser so you can and get hit just a little bit? No, you're not gonna you're not gonna give that advice to someone. Like it's these are abusers, and it's not like other relationships where you're going no contact. You're going no contact with the narc because you're cutting off the fuel source to them you know they're trying to get fuel out of you and when you go no contact you're completely cutting off the fuel like they are not allowed one more drop of fuel from you and that's the reason why going no contact with a narcissist is so important now you know um you know it starts off where you just don't talk to them or see them no more texting or emailing and then no, you know, ghosting them and looking at their social media either, you know, um, and it's, and this, that's really hard to do actually, you know, you can, you can get past the, the no contact with, um, not talking to them or texting them or seeing them, but it's really hard not to, to, to kind of like sneak in on their social media and look at a picture or two. So, and I'm, and I wish I could. I wish I could tell you guys that I've never done that and that I was like, you know, heroically went no contact and never looked back. But m my reality is, um, uh, it took me a long time to, to stop doing that. And, um, and I realized that it's just, it was, it was abuse, but it was self-imposed abuse on myself. I was doing it to myself. You know, he didn't, I was... I was abusing myself for him by looking. And so, you know, I had to come up with, um, <laughs> I did things, um, like I would reward myself the longer I can go without looking at any social media, you know, and then I would try to like punish myself if I looked like if I, if I looked, I'm like, that's it. You get, you know, you get an hour on the treadmill with no music and just boring walking on a treadmill. <laughs> kind of thing or um you know no wine for you this weekend you you looked at his instagram or something <laughs> so i mean so you you try to hold yourself accountable for going no contact uh with your narc and it's just it's just really important in our healing i mean 
you know, you think about it, the day that you go no contact is the day that you no longer get depleted of fuel and robbed of it and abused, right? And then you can really start healing. Now, and don't think that you can just go no contact for a couple months because you always have to maintain um, this very strict rule because the narcissist is always like hoover ready for you, right? Um, and they're going to, um, and it doesn't matter if the Hoover happens a month after no contact, a year after no contact, or a decade. You know, you're always going to be um, in danger of the Hoover. And Hoovers can happen at any time. You know, so, um, like, for me, the going no contact, uh, like, physically and, and talking, because he, he moved countries, so he doesn't live in the U.S. anymore. So that part was easy. Um, like, I don't even think he has a phone even. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but the, the social media was difficult because of the YouTube. And and I'm, I'm better now. I can't. It took me a long time, you know. So you got to. We're all human. You know, you have to forgive yourself a little bit for, for, um, for looking at social media. Because we live in a very... A digital age it's, it's not the 80s anymore where you just you know you can unplug your phone out of the wall so you know and and that's all you would have to do now it's just it's all it's really hard and um I guess I'll I guess I'll tell you guys this story I guess um you know I was on YouTube and um I saw all of a sudden like a suggested video came and it was a thumbnail of his new supply and she was crying and I was like, oh God, you know, and I can't, I can't watch any of the videos. I'm very, you know, I'm very strict with that. But, um, cause you know, if I, if I look at pictures or, uh, if I hear their voices, you know, I'll, it, I can't unhear it or unsee it, you know, and it'll be stuck with me and I'll dream about it. So it's very bad. So I, but when I saw that thumbnail, I'm like, I really, <laughs> I really wanted to know. So I did something I called my sister and I asked her to watch the video and tell me what it was about because I thought that they might have broken up and I don't know why I care but that and they didn't she was just going through something else but it was just um something like that happened once you know um so things like that will like happen in our digital age but you really just need to hold yourself accountable and know and be cautious of if you're still struggling with your um, discard or your relationship with the narc, know that if you break the no contact rule, even by looking at their social media, you know, you need to hold yourself accountable and know that it's your self-inflicted abuse because you have to fill your thoughts and your time with other things to you know, rebuild your life instead of, instead of falling back to the abuser. Um, and it gets better, you know, um, if you, and you gotta, you have to work at it. You, you really do. I mean, we're all in kind of different stages of our recovery for it, but it gets, it gets better and it helps to, um, you know, have like almost like a, a buddy, <laughs> like me, I use my sister, you know, she, you know, she'll ask me, have you looked at it? I'm like, no, I haven't. And we're like, good. You know, I can be really honest with her if um, if I slip up and saw something or or looked or sometimes you know, but it, it 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 gets better. But the no contact rule is so it's so important for for different reasons than other no contract rules for a relationship, and it's because they're an abuser. They're not just an ex boyfriend that you might get back together with later or the timing was wrong so you went no contact to kind of sort things out that's not what this is you're going no contact so you cut them off of your precious fuel and you don't get abused by them anymore because they remember they will they don't feel anything for you all they want is your fuel and that's why you're cutting them off you're going absolutely no contact and anyone who tells you that it's okay to have a little bit, 
you know, like ask them, would you ask to get hit just a little bit just to see in case you forgot what it was like? Or this is just so ridiculous. You have to go no contact and don't let anyone tell you different. And so, and a lot of, um, I know a lot of people out there have to stay in contact because they have kids like young children. And I think it would be, um, you know, and like some people have narcissists as a, their boss, you know, or a coworker. Um, and you have to kind of deal with that the same way. If you can't go absolutely zero contact, you have to bring the no contact to an absolute minimum. You know, if you have kids with them and say y- you um, have the scheduling so you never have to see them or talk to them and you can do, you know, drop off at school, pick up and do things where you don't have to talk to them at all. And if there is like a discussion for something, you go through a mediator you know, find a mediator to use because that's the only way, um, that, um, that they will not for sure not get fuel from you. It's, it's just so important. So, um, yeah, I haven't, I hadn't talked about this subject for a long time and I don't think I brought it up in, um, any other previous videos. It's, it's been, um, it's been two years since the last time I texted or talked to him. So, and, and as far as the social media, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a lot better at it. I really am. <laughs> it's nowhere near. I don't watch any of his videos. I don't, um, I don't look at his Instagram, but every now and then, you know, with today's technology, something creeps in and I, I have to hurry up and look away or click off. And so, and that's, uh, like, and I get emails still you know, from his fans talking, you know, they'll send me emails. I'm like, Oh, I can't even, I can't even read those emails. So, (laughs) so we're all, we're all in like our little bit different positions. As long as we stay the course and make sure we always go no contact and remember they're an abuser. That's the only way to move forward is to go no contact. So thank you guys for listening. Leave me your comments and be sure to subscribe. I'm glad that you're joining our tribe here on YouTube of survivors post-narcissists.